Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, am I seeing this right? Chainlink seemed to have just broken above all-time highs at over $20.25, going to oh, almost nearly $22. Uh, that is absolutely crazy. There's so much to discuss here in this video I will run through some tactical analysis talk about what I, what I see happening uh, short term and long term So guys if you like the sound of that, please like subscribe comment and share and hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads We will be breaking down all these uh, important cryptos all throughout this bull run. So let's delve into this guys <clears throat> um, So much to say here so much to talk about so much to look at uh, so many interesting things happening uh, <laughs> Messing the guy who runs the channel with me. He doesn't like it <laughs> Or he finds it funny when I draw all these pitchforks, but hey Pitchforks are very valid and very important because 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 of my pitchforks here, um, you would have been able, if you were following the channel, to perhaps guess that we would have found resistance right about here and exactly where we're finding support. So, guys, let's zoom out here and I'll describe what I see happening in the important support and re uh, support and resistance levels. So, macro descending triangle, we broke out uh, bullishly out of. Okay macro or sorry more micro ascending triangle here uh, did i say it <laughs> i meant okay descending triangle here ascending triangle here okay and out of this ascending triangle we seem to be breaking out bullishly <clears throat> now assuming that this descending triangle is valid and i think it is we assume this is the breakout point i think it's a matter of time before we reach over 26 dollars um, so there's a few important factors that we need to look out for uh, to see something like that happen and we will discuss that but in the short term I think it's important to kind of describe uh, these pitchforks because um, <laughs> Yeah, um, messages hit me up. He just realized chain link uh, <laughs> chain link pumped. This is crazy guys. So uh, a few very interesting things to note. We seem to be finding support at the breakout point, roughly $17.50. That is very critical support if, if we are to maintain bullish as well. The lower extremities of this pitchfork line up with the green wall of this sideways pitchfork. So, and there, if we extend the ascending triangle, um, this green line is also going to act as support. So we have a lot of support below us here. Although, even though we have a lot of support, looking at the six hour indicators, so let's zoom in here for the six hour price action. Oh, long look to the upside, very, very bearish, uh, which makes sense because looking at our indicators, guys, the four hour market side from momentum waves uh, seems like it's going to go down. Oh, my God, the stochastic is really looking for that leg down. Uh, MACD histogram ticking down. RSI, is that a lower high? No, not quite yet, but uh, based off the of stochastic and the MACD ticking down in, in market cipher, this really seems like it wants to have um, a bit of a movement down here. Uh, you know, something... Another thing as well, whenever we did crash, the 200 EMA on the 4-hour acted as support. So I think if we do have a, a movement downwards, a correction, I, I would expect to find support there again, which lines up with the uh, macro uh, descending triangle where we, um, that we were in for a long time, kind of the breakout point. So I think like the $14 to the $15 is going to act as critical support. A lot, of, a lot of peaks there, a lot of sideways price action. So $14 to $15, critical support to hold. As well, was it the two hour? Let's look here. Let's zoom in a bit. Now, if we look at the one hour, yeah, one hour MACD. Did we have the crossover just yet? I think we did. Yeah, I think we've crossed over bearishly on the one hour MACD. Yeah, as well, momentum waves has room to go down. Our side going down. So, guys, what we may indeed do is just consolidate around. You know the 18 or 17.50 to 18 dollar region for a while, and that's honestly uh, the best case scenario in my opinion. If we were just there's a lot of um, sideways price action here. Uh, this was very critical uh, resistance now flipped into support. Now if we look at the visible range, and let's look at the near term price action here. Okay. Yeah, lot of lot of volume just below 17 dollars. Hmm. I'm just trying to think where, okay, where where support slash resistance would be. So, I think we have more, if we have more of an extended pullback, you know, fourteen seventy to fourteen twenty five makes a lot of sense. Two hundred EMA on the uh, four hour, right around there. Uh, pitchfork, a uh, lot of lines of, of support slash resistance. Green line, uh, you know, breakout point. 
guys, like like the yeah, fourteen dollars to fifteen dollars is gonna act as, as act as extremely critical support, and we may, we may not f fall down that far, but we may very well. Another thing we need to understand, keep our eye out for, is Ethereum. Ethereum leads the market, and Chainlink is very correlated with Ethereum. So whatever Ethereum does, uh, will definitely have an effect on the altcoins and on Chainlink. Uh, Ethereum is in this uh, macro ascending triangle here. We have about um, two days roughly worth of movement within this thing. I think we see a big move within the next 24 hours, to be honest. Uh, we tried to break down, but we, we, we seem to have gotten back in. If this uh, if this uh, six-hour candle can close above this green line, that, that's very good news for Ethereum. Uh, we have, oh, is that four minutes? Okay. So in four minutes, if this candle closes as it is, it'll be very good news because it'll be closing within this ascending triangle, uh, whatever way it breaks out uh, from from this thing, uh, it's likely to trend in that direction for quite some time and affect the altcoins such as <clears throat> such as um, Chainlink. Another thing to consider, guys, is the Ethereum Bitcoin pair, uh, because the Ethereum Bitcoin pair will help us understand what Ethereum is going to do, and uh, Ethereum will help us understand what Chainlink is going to do. So um, we are currently uh, up against significant resistance here at the. Uh, uh, 0 0.34 level, 0 0.35 level, uh, 0 0.034, 0 0.035, correct, uh, forgive me, um, and we have a bunch of, of support below us, so <clears throat> right off the bat here, we see we're forming a descending triangle here, and whatever way we break out um, is likely to affect Ethereum, so if we break out bullishly, Ethereum is likely to pump, if we break out bearishly, Ethereum is likely to, uh, to correct a little bit, or at least it's a factor. Um, right, so um, that's something to consider as well to understand what Ethereum is doing. Uh, Bitcoin itself has been correcting, making a lower high. Uh, who knows how far this will really go? <clears throat> if we look here at the six hour, um, last time we crashed, we had we found support on the 100 email on the six hour. So I imagine something similar might happen this time around. Also, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of sideways price action and uh, uh, around the 30, 30, 32,500. So if we cannot hold above the <clears throat> the 50 EMA here on the six hour, I think we're kind of falling 32,500. I think that will act as a, as, a, as at the very least temporary support. Uh, Bitcoin dominance as well. Bitcoin dominance uh, affects the altcoins whenever Bitcoin dominance rises. Uh, altcoins typically suffer whenever it falls. Altcoins typically benefit. And as we can see here, it seems to be falling. And what we were in this kind of a uh, descending triangle uh, seems to have broken out bullishly, but it seems to be a, a fake out because we're falling right now. Which kind of makes sense uh, why uh, you know altcoins such as Chainlink have this have this crazy pump. So guys, um, I know I'm throwing out a lot of charts out here, uh, but these things do affect the market. So it's important to at the very least understand that these are factors. Um, that's why I bring them up as well. The dollar index, uh, the dollar index affects uh, other currencies, including cryptocurrency. Whenever it falls, other currencies benefit. Whenever it rises, other currencies suffer. Um, so it seems to be finding support on the daily 20 EMA, uh, which is not <clears throat> not exactly what you want to see if you're uh, pro crypto. Um, although it's in such a macro downtrend, I, I very much doubt that this uptrend will be long lived. I don't think uh, anything very much fundamentally has changed to make the dollar stronger. I mean, they're lucky to continue printing trillions of dollars, so that's lucky to continue to devalue it. But we'll see. Whenever this decides to go for a leg down, it's gonna fit, that's gonna benefit other currencies and likely to benefit crypto. So, guys, my point in bringing all that up is that we need to follow those things to understand what Chainlink can do. Okay, there's a lot of uh, support below us, um, but the market is in a very precarious uh, state right now. Um, you know, Ethereum's nearing a breakout point. Uh, Bitcoin mm, uh, is, is kind of correcting right now. Um, so, if we make a lower uh, a lower low, that'll be very bad news bears. Now, if we make a higher low, let's say we do find support here at the, the kind of thirty two thousand five hundred, and make a higher low, um, then with Bitcoin, we'll kind of be in like this wedge situation. Uh, and again, guys, it's important to understand what Bitcoin's doing. Bitcoin leads the market. Ethereum leads the altcoins. So I imagine you know we'll be kind of in this wedge situation if we presume that uh, Bitcoin is likely to find support somewhere around these regions here. So, um, guys, these are the things I'm looking out for to understand uh, if Chainlink is likely to uh, continue to remain bullish or not. Uh, again, major support for uh, for Chainlink, uh, 18 to $7.15. dollars 15, 15 um, Aside from that, major support is uh, $15 to kind of uh, $14.50 for, for, uh, for Chainlink. Uh, Long-term, guys, um, 
you know, I'm very bullish on Ethereum. Uh, Chainlink and Ethereum are very correlated. So if I, I do believe Ethereum is going to do extremely well long term. So I, I almost kind of have to, by extension, believe that Chainlink is going to do very well long term. Um, Chainlink is one of my largest long term back holds. I think it has a great chance of doing uh, very well uh, in the long term. Um, so, you know, I, I think, guys, I, I think, uh, you know, the whole market could do um, about a 20x from here, uh, conservatively speaking, in my opinion, uh, in roughly a year's time, which would land Chainlink in the hundreds of dollars. So um, that's kind of what I think is happening with Chainlink long term. I think kind of $200 for Chainlink uh, makes sense and is probably conservative in my opinion. Again, if we're talking about the long term. Now, if you're a new person, something you need to understand is that these markets are highly volatile. There's FUD news stories all the time. So if you don't have a, a trading plan that you stick to, you're very likely to get shaken out. Uh, I do not recommend trading for new people whatsoever. Um, it, it's there's so much that goes into being able to trade successfully consistently and if you're a new person I'm not trying to be mean but you probably you, you definitely don't have if you're new if you're new to this and you haven't if you don't have a lot of experience a lot of knowledge when it comes to technical analysis in these markets um, it, you're gonna fail at trading so don't trade uh, the best thing uh, new people can do is invest and hold for the long term in my opinion that is what i am doing that's what i recommend my friends and family do get them out of financial advisors not financial advice do what you want but again a coin like chainlink i think is an amazing chance of doing well long term um i would kind of want to wait uh if this corrected a bit more to be honest uh before i bought in myself uh like i mentioned uh, on the four hour we have like those bears crossovers uh one hour macd bears crossover uh yeah four hour really looking like it wants that leg down um yeah although the one you know although the stochastic on the one hour seems to want to go up so we might have a little bit of a move up maybe retest these levels come back down another thing though guys we we literally broke above all-time highs now we're gonna experience a lot of rejection off the 20 dollar or a lot of resistance rather sorry off the 20 dollar uh level um but i honestly would want to wait for a pullback um before getting in myself or, or looking to add to my bags and at the very least i want to see um, how Ethereum breaks out and, and where Bitcoin um, where Bitcoin finds support and whether we're done uh, falling or not. I, I want to see a little bit more price action to understand market direction more clearly uh, before uh, before um, I, I would get in chain like myself and preferably uh, I would wait for a little bit of a pullback. So guys, um, Make sure to check out our Discord link for that on description below. If anything interesting happens with Chainlink, we'll definitely be talking about it there. Uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads. Um, check out our Twitter. Check out our Rarible store. Really help us out. Link for that down in the description below. Give us a follow on Rarible, and uh, even consider purchasing an NFT to support the channel. I think I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. I've spoken long enough. Uh, thanks a lot if you're sticking around this long. Uh, don't forget to stay with us. <laughs> I really mean it, guys. Like, like, look at this. Like, look how well... Um, <laughs> like look how, how how well i called this like this pitchfork we rejected exactly off it we're finding support exactly off th this here like guys we, we've been calling it amazing um also before i really wrap up here i just want to take a, a moment to brag because i have been calling chain link so immensely well in my opinion i i <laughs> I, I've been talking with like with a mess and behind the scenes. I had this suspicion. I've been talking about this for a while, even on the channel, um, that we were gonna pump. Uh, we weren't gonna break out immediately because it was just too easy. The market needs to fake people out. We had the crash, and then after the crash, we were gonna have the huge pump up, and it literally happened. Even around these levels, I was calling it exactly correctly. So um, <laughs> I just want to take a little moment to brag. That's it for now, guys. Take care.